Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. So, let's continue out the story of London. One more mystery. It's sabers and assassins in this one, so... Probably best to bring a berserker. Now let's go with Luna's Raikou. Yeah, I'll put Sansong in. Alright. One more mystery. Senpai, are you okay? You seem a little pale. <sighs> Sleepy. I suppose so, but early morning patrols are necessary. Mordor's actions are not mistaken. What happened last night may very well happen again. However, it's not ideal. If you're starting to feel excessive fatigue... I'm fine. Okay. It's pretty inconvenient to be a master, but I guess you live with it. You live with it as you're still human. All the enemies are pushovers anyway. I could handle them myself. That doesn't sound good. Mechanical sounds detected. There's a big one approaching. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Maybe I'll finally get to fight a helter skelter. I'm sorry, master. Preparing for battle. Your orders, please. Uh, no, sorry, Marjorie. You're gonna be sitting this one out. <laughs> I'm instead bringing, uh, uh, Raiko. <laughs> it's a shame that I'm not going to end up using any of the support servants in London. I think I'm done using support, like, the story given support servants. Because honestly, I don't really think there's much of a need for me to use them anymore. I mean, it was kind of fun in the beginning, instead of using, like, super OP stuff. But now I kind of want to have the super OP stuff, you know? Actually, let's just keep it to one move per turn with these fucking guys. Cool. Oh, well, there goes the Helter Skelter. On Raikou's attack, anyway. Then we just gotta worry about the Automatos. Which aren't really that much of a threat anyway. <laughs> I say as he immediately fucking crits me. God damn it. <sighs> Game, can you go like one second without proving me instantly wrong about everything I do? <sighs> I, I swear, I, I, can't, I can't fucking win. When it comes to RNG, I can't fucking win. <sighs> Whatever. To be expected. Oh, cool. Same alignment as before, which means, uh, Nightingale. You're cool. Almost the lowest tech. I should, I should really get Ibaraki at least up to level 80. I don't know why I've kept her at 74 for the longest fucking time. I actually need to buckle down and do some level grinding for my servants. Like, get them to their caps. Like, it sounds on to 90. Uh, Ibaraki to 80. <laughs> you know, like, like a good fucking player. Oh well. I've got bad news for you. Sorry, but listen up. Right around where you are. Oh, can you hear them now? Well, that that's what I'm talking about. Great, bring it on! I'll crush as many as I need to. It's pretty great slashing my way through thick steel. I'm really, really sorry, Master. Entering consecutive battles. Your orders, please. Don't worry about it, Mash. We knew something like- Well, something like this is bound to happen when we go to these places. <sighs> It's gonna, bound to go from bad to worse. Just, just start going with it eventually. <laughs> Ugh. I got some automatos. 
Should I go with the arts card first? Oh well. So that's not unexpected. I have Nightingale's NP is single target or multi target. I think it's single target. Well, not that it fucking matters. It's an arts card. Oh, never mind. It's it's just a healing NP. I mean, hey, she's got some useful stuff. So I might as well take a look at her NP, but I mean. I'm sure we're going to be seeing Nightingale sometime soon. So it should be fun. Hell, who knows, from the guaranteed gacha I might actually end up getting Nightingale. And you know, that actually wouldn't be the worst thing. I could use like a decent healing servant on my team. Especially one that has support where she can buff Sanzan. That's great. Part of section. Man, this, this one went by really fast. It's like all the same fucking battles. You know, even I'm getting kind of tired. We should make our way back to Jekyll's apartment. I don't need sleep, but I want to recover my magical energy. Uh, um, this is kind of hard to say, but, uh,. I know, I know. Just shut up. I already sent some. There's quite a few. Mechanical sounds detected. Multiple large units. <laughs> Predicting enemy count will further increase. I wish they would all just congregate in Hyde Park. Then I'd turn them all to cinders with my noble phantasm. Please restrain yourself. Massive firepower in the city area is dangerous. I'll be as careful as I can when I use it. This is getting more and more fun. Senpai? I guess the anime's getting serious now. The leader's down. Bring it on. I'll fight to the finish. Yeah, that's true. We have taken out two out of the... Well, two of the uh, casters in that alliance. So, hey. It only makes sense that they're... Uh, Stepping it up. Oh, look, there's a little helter skelter. Oh, I thought that would be enough to kill. Oh well. Well, at least get some NP for Vlad. <laughs> that reminds me, I have a Vlad I want to level up on my personal. 
I really want to use Vlad, he's cool. Sounds like that last bit of NP. Shame I still need another fifty percent on Vlad. Make that twenty three percent. Fifteen. Ow. Smashed my hand in my fucking desk. That felt great. Well, that doll is super fucking dead. I don't know why I saw the need to do that, but... Okay. Here we go. If this doesn't kill the Helter Skelter, I'll use Vlad's Phantasm. <laughs> Never mind. Man, he got just enough to use it. Oh well. Alright, well hey, that's section 7. In 12 minutes. Oh, there's some story, but you know. I see. So that's what's been happening. Anyway, good work. I'm glad you made it back. Now please, get some rest. Ah, that's much better. Ah. Sitting on my favorite sofa again. Well, okay, fine. You did put in a lot of effort both last night and just now. Dead tired. Senpai, don't overdo it. Please, rest up. From now on, I'll watch over your vitals, too. Huh? That's actually my job. But you're right. It's more pleasing to look, be looked after by someone close to you. Still, I see. I didn't think mass production of Helter Skelters was possible before. But now the situation is dire. It's likely due to us defeating the mage Paracelsus, a.k.a. P, one of the three leaders of Project Demonic Fog. The enemy recognized you as a threat, built up their strength in order to obtain materialized heroic spirits. So I guess I've been having that wrong for a while now. Me Mephistopheles wasn't part of them. He was just a stray servant that joined them. We should think of it that way. But I wonder what kind of heroic spirits they're seeking. I don't know. It's your job to do the thinking. I'm exhausted. That's right. Speaking of thinking, there's a freeloader who's only good for thinking. Now we've got two of them. What are they doing right now, Jekyll? They're in the study, right? You called? Did you summon us? <sighs> I'm totally going to regret this. I should have known better. So you guys opened the Ark or something. Ark? Do you mean that arc? <laughs> you are harsh indeed. What an exaggeration. I do call myself a jack-in-the-box that releases grand, flowery words when cracked open. But I am no match for, the, for that cachet of calamities. Rather, such a box does not exist to begin with. Indeed, it doesn't exist. Can exist. As you know, its intended use is an impossibility. Nothing spoils fun like anecdotes of opening a box ending the world. The message is, if you want to die, die alone. Um, senpai? But let's, let's not talk about the Ark. I agree. Despite what they say, those two are obviously into it. I think the best thing to do is keep quiet. I agree. Oh, uh, that's right. I forgot to tell you what it is that we're doing. That playwright is focused on getting these events down on paper, not me. I'm going to do as little work as possible. So, of course, you're both doing absolute jack-fucking-shit. 
There is something on my mind. I heard from John of the developments leading up to now. The Seven Singularities. More precisely, something about the Magecraft ritual called the Holy Grail War bothers me. I don't have enough materials to make a judgment. To be honest, I'm almost at a stalemate. <laughs> I can see you, act, you can act like a caster. Though you're so useless. Ah, uh, excuse me, uh, can we get back on topic? A review of the current situation and future plans? Luckily, enemies' awareness is focusing on the demonic fog. If they want to wipe us out, they'd go around destroying buildings. The fact that they haven't means the enemy is only aware of the streets that the demonic fog extends to. I'm sure there's something there to take advantage of. Is there? I hope so. Hmm. Is there? I hope there is. It'd be nice. This is a pain. Do something. We can't spend as much time outside like we used to. Wandering around aimlessly just eats away at my magical energy with each battle. If we could at least disable the Helter Skelters, it wouldn't be that much of an effort, but... There's no way. This is a problem, as we might end up in a stalemate. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, then how about this? There is an outbreak of Helter Skelters. How about gathering some data to support my theory? Run an errand for me, basically. You guys have the stamina, so isn't this the perfect job? Working outside among all those Helter Skelters is a tall order. Let's cooperate with Anderson and Shakespeare. Right, Senpai. It won't make our current situation any better, but... I don't think things will get any better if we just stay holed up in this apartment. Foul! Well, if there's anything we can do, getting on it would be constructive. Still, you want us to gather data, but where are we supposed to go? Q! Foul! Oh, come on. This is London. Destination is obvious. Does he mean the Mages Association? Correct. Once man enters AD, Mages centered around a giant academy. The Mages Association. Clock Tower. Ah! Right. A giant academy that is unlocking the secrets of the world exists here in London. Why would you not want- why would you not use it? You're right. B but in the state London is now, I wonder... If the Mages Association clock tower still stands, I'd naturally assume Jekyll is in contact with them. Good point. Jekyll hasn't spoken about the clock tower. That's because there was no need. The Mages Association. That's like underground, from Regent Park all the way to Westminster, right? After materializing and meeting Jekyll, I went there to check it out immediately. The British Museum, was it? I went there because I heard that's where the entrance was. But the entrance was completely sealed off. It was a ruined pile of rubble. Yeah. Strangely enough, the building was demolished. No part was left untouched. Thinking back, perhaps the mastermind of Project Demonic Fog crushed all possibility of resistance. I don't mind if it got destroyed. So what if it's a pile of rubbles? Nothing could be better if the mages are alive, but that has nothing to do with my objective one way or another. What I need are records. Data. It's certain that the important archives are protected by considerably firm seals. Take me there. Q. Foul. Then I shall accompany you. The ruins of a mystic academy should serve as a font, a font of inspiration. Seems this is going to be a large group, but... I suppose the more firepower the better, in case you encounter Helter Skelters. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh... Huh? It's dangerous, so hold the fort, Fran. I agree. Right now London is especially dangerous. Please stay here, Fran. Uh... Uh... Let's be off. What is it that formerly f flourishing Mystic Academy? Oh, and also, Saber, do make sure to protect us weak casters. Huh? Protect you? Say, so I'll have to shield you over there. Uh, um... Alright, I'm going to. Let's go. Jekyll? Huh? What? Okay. I, I guess Jekyll's coming too. Oh, that reminds me. How much quartz am I up to now? 35. 
I'm planning on saving it all. Right. The death of the Mages Association. Ooh, that that's that's a nice uh What am I trying to call it? Honestly don't remember. Well, I'm fucking stupid. Foreshadowing. That's the word. I don't know why forbearance was the word I was thinking of. That's not it. It was foreshadowing. You know, you set a large group, but we can't count you in during combat. You're looking for the ruins of the Mages Association, yes? Surely my intellectual curiosity as a scholar will be aroused. Besides, I can be good when I need to. You see, I also have an ace up my sleeve. And I have faith that you'll all protect me. I'm counting on you, Saber. As I said, I'm not protecting anyone. But do as you like. Alright then, we really should get moving. The British Museum means we're heading to re the Regent Park area. That's some distance from here. You'd best prepare yourselves for a succession of battles. Hmm? Come to think of it. Didn't the Mage Association exist to several college towns in the, London, in the London suburbs and stuff? That's that. This is this. The Mages Association originated at their London HQ, and added facilities centuries later as they grew in scale. That's why interspersed college towns center around London, as it's the heart of the Mages Association and Clock Tower. Multiple cities built to surround London compromised the rest of the association. Doctor, have you never been to the Clock Tower before? Oh, I knew there was something unpolished about you. Are you a country bumpkin? No, of course not. It's just that I haven't had much connection to London. I mean, being so far away. But I knew what was going on in London. Director Marie was sent from the Mages Association, too. Enough chatter. We need to... As soon as I think of it, here we go. Multiple machine sounds ahead. Senpai, I think the Helter Skelters are here. Foul, foul! They didn't waste any time. Fight your way through them and get to Regent Park on the double. Roger. Yes, Master. Well, here we go again. Oh, come on, Ibaraki. stars. Shit. I need 10 stars to activate his battery. I'm surprised I didn't get any NP chains with him, considering he, he and Sanzang both have three arts cards. There we fucking go. Is that so hard? No, oh, don't attack Sanzan. Don't attack Ibaraki yet, either. Yeah, there we go, 14 stars. And I'm wondering, hey Johnny, he's already at 100%, what's the point now? Well, he get, he gets an NP battery. 
and increase NP strength. So that makes it worth it. Oh, Ibaraki is actually of the evil alignment, so she gets an extra attack increase from evil charisma. That's pretty cool. Alright, here we'll do this. Unknown, five, five elements, Mountain Buddha Palm, and then we'll just go with Ibaraki. Th this should kill this health, or Skelter at least. Yeah, that guy's really dead. Tsuberashi. I love the line he has for his NP when you don't know his true name. It's great. Tsuberashi. This one's just a caster. You know what? Is she on here? Oh, she's not on here. There she is. I just think it's been a while since I brought out Passion Lip. You know what? I'm gonna bring this guy, too. I need to work on getting Keen Toki's levels up. Actually, you know what? Let me swap out Sanzang too, bring in Kiara. So that way I have enemies that I have the servants that are all effective against casters. <laughs> the British Museum, a symbol of the British Empire, or rather what remains. Oh, what a sorrowful sight! This museum once, hel once held so many of humanity's greatest treasures. I cannot help but sigh. This, this building once held human progress itself. Can such a thing be allowed? Oh, tis like the burning of the Library of Alexandria. Truly a shame. However, however, this is the way of humanity as well. Foolishness and grieving are human traits. You, gods, will give us some faults to make us men. It's no different than the last time I was here. Rubble, ruin, nothing else. Whoever destroyed this place must have had a personal grudge. There's no survivors. So this is the British Museum. Or what's left. I'd seen it, but just an image data. Nowhere else in London were buildings destroyed. Just here. It's sad. Yes, Senpai. Yes. Alright, physical alright, physical laborers. Oh, especially Saber and Mash Kirillite. Yes. What? Start digging here. According to Jekyll, the clock tower spread on the ground as well. Despite the thorough wreckage, the ground is intact. That means what we're after is underground. But unfortunately, the stairs are buried in rubble. So, you see? Time to show off the ridiculous strength of servants. Now go smash stuff like a bulldozer. That's true. Sadly, I expend tremendous magical energy if I hold anything heavier than a pen. Oh. I'll help. Yeah, I probably won't be of much use, though. Yay, I'm faster this time! Magical energy response is near you. And lots of them. I is that really something to be happy and celebrating about, Roman? Hmm, it's true. There's something here. What is this? You don't see anything, right? But it's there. 
and it's moving around. It's not the mystic code scattered in the rubble either, which means there's only one answer. It's from below? Uh, Saber, sorry, but get ready! Don't treat me like you're my master. I know, if they come out, we'll fight them. Master, multiple incoming enemies. Magical energy signatures are growing. Assume they're attacking. Fight! Right, Master. Beginning combat. I shall aid you as well. A shield maiden dancing amidst the rubble truly stimulates the imagination. Alright, Shakespeare, you fucking loser. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what these are. I know they're casters, but what casters are they? Are they books? I think they're just magic tomes again. Pretty sure that's all they are. Yup, spell books. Yo, can we get any pages? Oh, King Toki. Oh, King Toki. And they, they just really hate King Toki, huh? Use King Toki's MP on the middle one. Kintoki's MP is really good. Uh, Ryder Kintoki's MP. Well, actually, cast Caster, what am I talking about? Caster Kintoki. Berserker Kintoki's MP is really good, too. Love how in the last two episodes I actually used both of them. Or was that this episode? No, that was last episode. I'm actually forgetting shit like that now. That's not good. A lot of use. Uh, I'm really glad I pulled the servants I have. I'm sure this would be a lot. I'm sure this would be a much more interesting let's play if you guys weren't seeing Kiara's uh, NP every single episode, but you know. Hey. I want to use the five stars that I have. That are If they're useful for the situation, I'll use them. I just like having sounds on the team, so you know. <laughs> Battle is over, Senpai. Good work. I don't see Helter Skelters around, but we still ran into something troublesome. I remember that shape. Yes, Senpai. The enemy has a striking resemblance to the magical tome we saw in Soho. But this time our attacks worked, without Anderson giving them a name. 
Normal attacks alone were sufficient. They also didn't change form. Last time I was here, I didn't see any floating books like that. May I speak? This is just a guess, but I think those are a type of transformed grimoire. Maybe the demonic fog transformed the tomes that were kept underground with the Mages Association. Oh, I was thinking the same thing, but he said it first. <laughs> Where's your speed now, Roman? Swarm of attacking books, huh? It was like a nightmare, or perhaps a vision of hell. Don't be stupid. Those things weren't even... <sighs> What's wrong, authors? You're not running your mouths like usual. I'm holding back. No, forget it. Forget it! Wow, that felt good. That felt great. Huh? To burn a book. It is something inconceivable. Oh, how sad. But there was a joy in it. Wrongdoings that should ne'er be done. Unforgivable acts of barbarism. There should only be sadness. Yet, I cannot help but feel a moment of forbidden joy. Oh, my God. No books are needed except my own. Actually, I'd prefer to even burn my own works. If there are if there are no books in the world, no need to lament any of the great works I'll never read. If there were no books in the world, I'd never have to scream, "Who published this trash?" If there are no books in the world, I'd never, I'd never, I'd never, to, I'd never to, oh my God, I can't speak properly. I'd never have to worry about deadlines. What an honest man! Oh, but his words strike me in my heart. Oh. What's gotten into them? This is kind of amazing. R really? Authors are creatures of paradox? Anyway, senpai, this makes our path clear, doesn't it? When the book-type enemies appeared, they formed a path to the underground by chance. Yeah, once the author heroic spirits calm down, it's time to go underground. I'm so excited. This is like the headquarters of the Mages Association. I wonder what it's like down there. Oh, I wish, wish I could go and see for myself. Then you should come, instead of just being a voice. I, um... I have to observe and keep Kaldaya running. Okay, back to my observation work. Fo! Q Q! Up sabers and casters, which means I'll bring a berserker. Don't know why I decided to sing that last part of berserker, but you know, hey, fuck it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'll just have Ibaraki out front again instead of Kintoki. It's like an endless dungeon, huh? It's dark. Indeed, and the air is awfully wet. That's what mage dwellings are like, right? Everybody knows they like it dark and damp. Do they? Cute cow! Foul! The rodent is agreeing with me. It says this sure feels like where a mage lives, right? Cute! Foul? You seem kind of excited. Does he feel something? Cute cute! Cow! The endless dark corridors might be because. Well, we're choosing to walk down corridors not blocked by debris. All the entrances to the rooms are smashed or filled with rubble. It feels like someone destroyed this place thoroughly. There's not a single surviving mage. If that theory is correct, the enemy should have sent someone down here, and they... They might still be here, huh? Looks like you're right. Foul! Magical energy response detected. Senpai, something's around the corner. This is a closed area, so be careful. Roger, Master. <laughs> I'll help you this time. Don't expect it all the time, though. Yeah, don't worry, I won't, Anderson. <laughs> Thanks, though, man.
you know, I think as soon as I finish London, I'll think it, I'll take another little break from this game. And I'll just start going back to like Fade Extra and what else was I playing? Oh right, uh, fucking Trails. That game. All right, well there goes that first wave. I guess the next wave is something big. Or not. I could just be wrong, as I usually am. Alright, that's this section done. Or, not this section, this part done. That wasn't too hard. Although I don't expect this part, this stuff to be hard yet. We're not in Camelot yet. Or in the last part of America. When I really feel the burn. <laughs> I'm sure when we get to that part I'll be like, fucking losing my mind. It's kind of why I want to take a little break of this game after we finish London, because I, I know I want to do a lot of fucking grinding for America. Ugh. That's going to be fun. Alright, same layout as before. Let's get Koo Alter. Speaking of America. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, this door is... I'm sensing magical energy. Yeah, this is it. A warded entrance to a library. It's not blocked with rubble either. Excellent. Hope what I'm after is here, but that's up to chance. Saber, Mash Kirlite, and John. Jekyll and I are going inside. Guard the door. Roger. Right, Senpai. Find what you're after quickly and get back here. I'm not sure when the enemy might show. And there they are now. Flying books and even a Helter Skelter. Multiple moving responses. This is not good. They're rushing in one after another. Can't assess the total amount. Anderson, escape once you find the reference you're after. Oh, I'll know about that. This is a problem. This is... This is indeed a problem. I see. So that's how they guard the books. What? Stop being pompous and tell us what's going on. The library books are warded by special powerful spells. They can't leave this room. We can't go through the door. Luckily, I have several good guesses for the references I seek, but... Oh, these are... Wait wait a while for me to finish reading them. What?! One scans information deep in the mystic garden. The other guards the door against a horde of foes. On one side, a battle of knowledge. On, the other, on another, a battle of strength. This is truly a situation that entrances one's heart. Oh, oh, which side should I stand on? Which should I see that I can record in a book? Just shut up and fight over here, they're coming! This is a defensive battle. Master your orders! I feel like a lot... I don't know, I'm just thinking of this now, but... Like, a, a lot of the early singularities, I feel... M most of the scenes that start battles just end with MASH going, Master your orders! I don't know why I'm just noticing that now. <laughs> kind of strange. <laughs> don't think I'm gonna kill the spell book. Yep. Even with cool alter stuff. Cool. Oh, five enemies remaining. So that's how we're gonna play this. Alright then. Oh wait, I just realized these books are casters. Why don't they have a four charge gauge? That's kinda weird. Oh cool, Ibaraki's he's fucking dead. <laughs> Welp. Hey Kintoki. 
You know what? I think I'm just gonna use Kiara's MP now. You know, it's probably not gonna be enough to kill the Helter Skelters. I guess we'll see. I don't think it'll be enough to do 16,000. But I mean, I guess we'll see. I, mean, I, really, I really like noble phantasms, phantasms that apply ignore invincible before they fucking start. Oh yeah, nowhere near enough. That's another reason why I'm really looking forward to Summer Nero. Because not only does she get a buff which ignore, which puts ignore invincible on her uh, NP, but also increases the NP strength by an additional 20%. Yeah, Summer Nero is going to be fucking amazing. That she can what? With her last skill, she can get with like what a fifty percent attack buff on someone. Beautiful. Cool. Well, time to use some Akuz stuff. Should've done that first. How will I go? This is Here, I'll use Ku's stuff. Take out the spell books at least. Getting Ku all there would be amazing. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff I want to get from the guaranteed gacha, but of course. Oh, actually, you know what? There is a chance I could end up getting two uh, five stars from the guaranteed gacha. That would be incredible. But, you know, I don't think that's going to happen on this account anyway. I remember that happened on my personal account when I rolled on the New Year's gacha, because I rolled the Saber, and I ended up getting two Mordreds. That was pretty cool. Hey, bond level two with King Toki Rider. And there's a page. How many pages do I have? How the fuck? Oh, right, Guda Guda events. I have 26 pages. Man. Kind of forgot how fast I racked those up. Alright, we got the one section left. I'll just use... Yeah, two bronze fruits, why not? Oh, hey. You know, I kind of feel like using Jekyll and Hyde. Let's see what happens. Cause never, I've never really used Jekyll and Hyde all that much. I don't know if Jekyll and Hyde are all that great. But I mean, hey. It's worth a shot. That's most of them. No, wait, there's more? There's more. The layout down here puts you at a huge disadvantage. The enemy's just going to keep coming, and you have to defend a single point. We're okay for now, but if this drags out, it'll be bad. Master! We can't leave yet. Roger, Master. Continuing battle. Just a little more, John. Not the best part. It's all for nothing if we leave now. Badly outnumbered. The ideal situation for a hero. But this is... Uh, this is perhaps a bit too many. I'm not to run out of magical energy. Actually, I, I already have. What? Oh, 
Oh, fine. Wanted to avoid this if I could, but... Huh? Jekyll, where are you? why are you coming out into the hall? There's nothing a would-be mage can do here. Get back in the library. I told you. I have an ace in the hole. Fa? Huh? Jekyll, that's... An elixir. A special one I made. First you do this, and then inject it like this. What? A strange magical ener energy response was suddenly spawned there. Foo! Oh, cow! <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since I've been outside. Here I am! Huh? Huh? Jekyll? Yes, that was Mr. Jekyll. Mr. Henry Jekyll. But the way he just he changed is just like in the book. I'm hide! If I don't like you, I kill you! You get in my way, I'll kill you! Kill, kill, kill! <laughs> I'll kill you, Helder Skelter! He ran right at the enemy. He's just like a berserker. Not bad. Luxor induced transformation. I see, truly Jekyll and Hyde. But physical transformation must put an awful strain on him. I don't think it'll last long. Anderson, you better hurry up. I understand. Don't hurry me. Reading should be done at one's own pace. Yes, alone in a quiet room. Hmm, it's not quiet. The noise outside is bothering me. You don't understand at all. Just hurry up. Damn it. Shield, you will follow Jekyll. Right. Senpai. Work together and don't get too deep. Roger, Master. Continuing combat. So yeah, that, that, that's the special gimmick that Jekyll and Hyde have. When you use Jekyll's NP, he, uh... I'm trying to remember what all the effects are, but I know he changes class to Berserker. He, uh... He restores all his HP. And I think something else happens, too. Don't remember off the top of my head. But I mean, hey, I could check now. Oh, never mind. It won't let me anyway. I mean, I guess if you used Kaleidoscope, you could, uh, just transform into Hyde at the beginning of the battle. But, I mean, it seems kind of a waste. It's not like Jekyll and Hyde are all that great, anyway. It's kind of a weird skill set for what they are. Actually, isn't their first skill Monster Strength? Now they have a stun, too. Yeah, monster strength. Increase your attack and further increase your attack is hide. Oh shit. Panicky voice, increase stun rate, and as hide increase, uh, further increase. Wow, actually, you know what? Okay, you know, it, 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 his skills kind of get a lot better when he becomes hide. Jesus. I didn't think his skills would get that good, honestly. J just goes to show how little I use the lower rarity servants. I really should use them more, though. Oh boy, someone's about to kill Jekyll. Oh, if only there was a skill that increases sea star gather rate. That'd really work well with him. 
It's unfortunate self modification doesn't do that. Shame he's a berserker, which really lowers his uh, C star gather rate. Oh well. Hey, we did it. We won. <laughs> Enemy units destroyed. We're done, huh? Whew. I don't think I can do any more. Ah, you're back to normal. There was a chance I wouldn't come back, so I'm glad I did. Is Anderson's book reading? I'm done. I finished decoding most of the documents I was after. Besides, there are also several interesting books. I satisfied my personal curiosity, too. Great work, guys. Personal curiosity? Oh. Oh. What a free spirit Anderson is. Something impressive in his lack of shame. However... You need to get out of here. There are more enemies coming. Break away, Mash. Right, Senpai. Let's return to the surface right away. Once again, good work. Let's return to the apartment and I'll share the results. Okay, I've recovered. Now it's time for me to rejoin the hero's battle as well. Shut the fuck up, Shakespeare. Too little too late, motherfucker. Oh, are you all ready to return home? That's right, we're leaving, damn it! Fucking goddammit, Shakespeare. And so you see, your efforts have answered a certain question. Again, you have my thanks. Thank you, John. Mash. Saber. Y yeah. My wallet is so empty that I can't reward you a single penny, but I hope these observations are worth it. Yes, I'm looking forward to them, Mr. Anderson. Enough to forget all this muscle pain. Foul! In light of Mr. Jekyll's urgent need for rest, I'll get right to the point. What bothered me in the first place was the relationship between heroic spirits and servants. Heroic spirits are records or results of human history. Be they real or fictional, they'll exist as long as humanity does. But a servant is something different. This treats a heroic spirit as an existence in reality. A familiar given a container called a class and made real when its existence is uncertain to begin with. But I ask you, Jekyll and Roman, was it? Is such a thing possible with the powers of a human, a mage? Turning a heroic spirit into a familiar. I see, that's powerful. The strongest summoning spell imaginable. But a human couldn't handle such a spell on their own. It's possible, it would be. A being greater than hum- <clears throat> A being greater than humans. An authority exercised by a supernatural being labeled as world, world or God. Is that it? Indeed. Heroic spirits can't be summoned with human power alone. There needs to be some other reason. It needs an extra push from something else, I think. Um, is that, isn't that the Holy Grail? It's a fact that up to this point many servants have been summoned thanks to the Holy Grail. Indeed. You spoke of the Seven Singularities. Seven Holy Grails driving the different eras mad. That's why I asked Dr. Roman about the Holy Grail. What exactly is the Holy Grail War that enables heroic spirit summons? For what reason was it created? Yep, I don't have the detailed data, but the origin is a town in rural Japan. The flaming city you visited, John. There they made a vessel for the Holy Grail, and used its power to summon heroic spirits, who they had compete as servants. That's what seemed weird to me. There's a flaw in the concept of making heroic spirits fight each other. It felt like there was something else going on, so I decided to read the Mages Association archives. And I found what I expected. The original heroic spirit summoning ritual was a ceremony to pit seven powers against one. It wasn't something where seven heroic spirits fought one another. Ritual, heroic spirit summon, and ritual holy grail war are the same systems with different genres, you could say. Holy Grail War altered an existing spell and used it for selfish human purposes. Meanwhile, its base spell, Heroic Spirit Summon, was a ritual to put humanity's strongest seven heroic spirits against a single powerful enemy. That's what got distorted in the Fuyuki Holy Grail War. So, um... What? For now, just know that the ritual Holy Grail War was based off of something else. 
Hmm, I see, I see. An interesting theory. Caldea wasn't able to make its own summoning system from the ground up. We modified and stabilized the Fuyuki ritual, but never considered the possibility of an older original. Foul! Yes, Doctor. This is a viewpoint we'd never heard before. It casts doubt on the fundamental nature of the Holy Grail War. I thought I knew what heroic spirits were originally, but it was nothing more than information. It wasn't nearly at the level of what you just pointed out. That's very impressive, Mr. Anderson. I guess this is the keen eye of observation owned by an author that left his name in history. What you'd call an objective perspective? I don't know if it's that special. Anyway, f that's fine, but, you know, this doesn't help us do anything about the mass production of those Helter Skelters. That's... Well, that's true. Of course it is. I just felt a hitch with the Heroic Spirit Summoning System. If we're all normal classes summoned by a single system, I wonder what kind of spirit origins the original seven for this system must have had. And someone else thought the same thing. I don't think it's coincidence that information about this, even the parts you'd expect to be lost, was all in one place. Someone predicted our coming, and put it there. Someone? Who could it be? A surviving mage of the clock tower? Or a servant? I don't think it would be a mage, but I, do know why a, I don't know why a servant would do it. We'll have to set that aside for now. Hmm. So someone left that information for us to find. Interesting. I guess we'll have more time to think about it later. Alright. Wow, that was only two sections. But I'm gonna call it an I'm gonna call it an episode here. The next one will start up section nine. I'll see you guys then. Bye.